What is the fastest way to become an aircraft mechanic? Is it school, an apprenticeship? Both are good options, but if you just don't have the time to mess around, what gets you in the field, getting paid to work on aircraft? Hello and welcome to another edition of Grease Monkey Gab. Thoughts of an aircraft mechanic from the commute. Definitely not scripted here. So you want to become an aircraft mechanic, but for whatever reason you're short on time. Whether you got a family and a mortgage like me, transitioning out of another career, also like me, or whatever other reason you may have. How do you get it done ASAP? And working on aircraft isn't like some other jobs. The qualifications for doing so are much stricter and regulated by the FAA. You could go to school for it, whether that's, you know, a year, two years. Uh, we got a couple guys that are doing a degree program and going for four years. Mm. But that is definitely an option, and the fastest route there is one year. But talking to people who have gone through that program, it's pretty intense, and it's definitely an accelerated process. But in one year, you have your A&P, and you're out working in the field. That's pretty fast, right? Then there's an apprenticeship. The FAA says you have to have 18 months of experience for either airframe or power plant, and that's if you're only getting the one. I mean, that's only a year and a half, or 30 months of experience if you want both the airframe and power plant. Well, wait a minute, that's two and a half years. That's not faster. Or is it? Let me suggest to you that being an apprentice is actually the fastest way to become an aircraft mechanic. Put aside the licensing requirements by the FAA, ultimately, if you get an apprenticeship, even though your responsibility may be low, the number of tasks you're trusted to perform can be low, you're starting out as a paid aircraft mechanic on day one. Yeah, okay, your, your job title is apprentice aircraft mechanic, but you're still doing the job, you're getting paid for it, you're building the experience, building the knowledge, and I can tell you from experience, that you are going to learn more hands-on skills, tasks, projects, and see some really oddball stuff that you're never gonna see in school. Now, it certainly doesn't mean school is bad or the wrong way to go. For certain things like, you know, rules and regulations, uh, acceptable methods or, you know, standard methods like what's in AC 4313, school is great at. Theory behind things, theory behind how everything works. School is better for that. Learning that stuff is completely up to you when you're working as an apprentice. And honestly, me personally, I tried going back to school a couple times, but it just I could just never get it to work out. At the end of the day, when I ended up having to change careers and I had a mortgage in the family, the fastest and the best option for me was to become an apprentice. Even though it wasn't a lot of money to start out with, but we'll talk about that in the next episode. What do you think is the fastest way to become an aircraft mechanic? School, apprenticeship, military? Let me know in the comments below.